Camping country, make the outdoors yours. Good morning, I'm Jared the Camping Guru. I'm in a beautifully stunning backdrop here on Budrum, believe it or not, on the Sunshine Coast. What I want to do today is show you how to set up a gazebo all by yourself, just with one person. It's very simple, there's not a lot to it, and I hope my handy hints help you out. Help you out. First thing we're going to do here with this gazebo is we're going to erect it and put it out. And the idea here is I need to do it by myself. Now, we've got four sides to this gazebo. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of the weight on just one corner, and we're going to stretch it out. Then I'm going to walk in under, pick it up, and we're going to splay it out like that. All we do here, we pick it up, put all the weight over onto one corner. If you stretch this out, and you put a lot of pressure on one, they'll bend. We don't want that. Once we've got it to that point, we step inside, we pick it up in the middle, and we lift it up. And it's that easy. Now what we've done, is we've locked in this corner. We've locked in this corner so it won't move. We've locked in this corner. But what we're going to do, we're going to release this one and I'll show you why in a minute. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the cover over top of it. All right, we've got the cover ready to put on, but as you can see, I'm not quite six foot in height, quite short. I've got to get it up over here. And I see a lot of people grab these covers. They've got broom handles under them, tent poles, and they're all trying to push it over. You don't need to do that. Here's what we do. We take that out and we sit it on the ground. We then grab our cover. We sit it over top. Obviously we don't want to damage it, so just be gentle with it. We grab this pole. We're going to walk in under. And we lift it up. While you're lifting it up and putting it in, don't have other people pulling it over and stretching it. You'll never get it in. Bring it up, bring it down. And uh, next we're going to do is stretch this out around the whole gazebo. We start in the three corners that we've locked in place. The one corner that we haven't locked in place, we're going to do it last and I'll show you why. There's Velcro on the inside of here. We bring that over. This seam is to line across the top and it locks in place. Now, this last corner is the hardest part to get over. You pull it very tight. The reason I've loosened this one off is it makes it a little bit more loose. We can pull it over, and then we push it up and lock it in place, which makes it taut. So there you have it. All right, we're going to collapse the gazebo now. We release all four corners and we're going to do it in the exact reverse of how we put it up. We walk in, we pick up this top one, and we lift it in. Once we've got to there, we hop out, we pick it up in the middle, and that's it. I hope this has helped you out. That's how to put up and down a gazebo the camping guru way. I'm Jared. Good on you, and we'll talk soon. Camping country, make the outdoors yours.